imagine you just saw this cup of tea making montage of me, you know, aesthetically making my cup of tea and to end up here. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, here's my tea. Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my fabric stash that I have in storage and a couple of accessory fabrics things that I've been making to try and use up my stash. I have used up a lot of it already and I just have yeah, whatever's remaining and I'm going to go through that. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to show you a couple of bits and pieces around the theme of fabric today. Um, the first thing is uh, scrunchies. Scrunchies and headbands. I had a phase a couple of weeks ago where I was using up all of my scrap fabric. I had a bunch of like actual scrap fabric that was too small to really make anything else out of other than like scrunchies and headbands. So I pumped out, I went into production mode and I pumped out maybe a hundred or so scrunchies and headbands. I these are the these are the scrunchies. They're all it's pretty much the same kind of pattern. Uh, there's an elastic on the inside which I had to buy. And then I just made the casing of the scrunchie and I have, I don't know how many different types and colors. These two, these two are full of scrunchies. I just, I'm not sure how to store them. I've been trying to give them away. Whoever comes knocking at my door, whenever I sell something on Facebook marketplace and they come to my door, I say, do you want a scrunchie? And then usually they take like a couple. Um, which has been working well, but yeah, I will never be able to use all these myself. So I'm just trying to like, you know, ship them off when I can. These are headbands, which, which are also cute. And I do wear them all myself, uh, obviously, but I really like this one. Um, I think green and blue goes well with my eyes and hair, which is great. These turban ones, I don't wear as much because they're quite thick and the, you know, the headbands are not so popular in the doorstep lucky dick, lucky, the doorstep lucky dip. But I still think they're nice. I mean, it's a bit more of a statement, a bit more of a style, um, but I still like them. So. And I will continue to make these, oh my gosh, I will continue to make these as and when I have like real scrap fabric because this is just the perfect project and I love it. I don't know about this. this, these are wide, the turban ones are wide, I'm going to make more of these smaller headbands and obviously, oh I really like this one, I wear this one a lot. This one has like, it's this green jersey fabric and I made it into this, these plaits. I, I found all these patterns literally online. I don't know if I'll link it below, maybe I will. This one I like to wear a lot. Yeah, I think these two are my favorites. Uh, I think the plait, the plait one goes well with a more stretchy fabric, that's why I did it. And then these ones, this is kind of a, a straight, not a straight, a rigid fabric. Also nice. So these two are my favorite. I wear them a lot. And then obviously all the scrunchies. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. My little scrunchie stock. And this is also, by the way, a sneak peek of my baskets. I'm going to do a video coming up soon on all the baskets that I've been weaving. I went also on a basket weaving craze. Yeah. I do have phases in crafts, uh, mainly because I buy a bunch of, well, this reed was from my grandma's, so I had, she had a bunch of left, reed left in the cellar and I was like, I just took it all and started, you know, making baskets like crazy. I do like the reed ones uh, versus the willow because they're much, they're, they're good for smaller objects. It's not as strong, but this is like a good fruit basket or any kind of basket. Um, so yeah, I, I do like the reed and it's all very consistent. The reed here is all a consistent width, so you can get a quite a consistent basket. But I will should be showing, this is, this episode is not about baskets. Later video. Then I also wanted to just kind of 
go through my fabric stash, what I have left. A lot of it is also from my grandma, um, which I, I took. I took basically anything that um, seemed in good condition and had like a good amount left. Um, so I'll just take out and then I'm going to try and think of like projects I can make with them because at the moment I have no idea. The, this I get, well, right, Actually, I took a whole bunch of fabric and I already gave a bunch, I donated a bunch to a charity shop um, or like a kids, kids centre thing. Um, a bunch that I just knew I actually wouldn't ever use myself uh, and then I kept the, act, the stuff that I really like thought oh this could be actually useful so this nice little checkered plaid thing then we've got this which I thought was really basic um, again square checkered blue and white this is very like something for a baby or something um, which would be nice but I don't know what yet then, and I don't really know what fabrics they are, a lot of it's stretchy, I'm guessing it's going to be a lot of elastic and polyester and things like that. This one, which is also stretchy, but it's got quite thick, thick fabric, um, which looks really nice and really, could be really comfy, so that. I tend to make, you know, clothes or, or something. This is like a silky, this feels very fine silk material, another orange. I do love orange. Then we've got, this is all from my grandma. I didn't buy any of this. Uh, then we've got this, also really nice. This could be a nice dress actually. I think a summer dress in this would be nice. I haven't been sewing clothes for a long time. I prefer making more summery clothes. Summer, summer dresses, skirts, things like that. And it's been winter so, but you know, we're heading, we're heading towards spring. So I might be inspired to start making a couple other things. Then there's this, which isn't really my style. I don't know what this would be. This feels very much like a, a you know, one of those like fancy scarf materials. I've, I kept anything fancy looking. Um, but honestly, I don't know what this could be. This one, which feels really nice. Linen, that's my guess. Looks like linen. I think, really nice. But not a big piece, I think. Then, the last remaining bits are actually yeah, things that I bought, fabric that I have left over. This, which I made a long skirt, which I might link here, I'll just show you. I made a skirt out of this, I really like it, although I made the skirt wrong, the band, the waistband I did upside down, so while well, the waistband is supposed to kind of like come inwards like that, I did it upside down, so it looks ridiculous, and I was never bothered to fix it. I made a different one, in it. I made the same skirt in a different fabric that was like a light blue, um, which I made the right way, and I wear that one a lot more. I don't have to hide the obvious mistake that it's just like sticking out but it's still nice fabric it was too big a piece to like make scrunchies out of I thought I thought it still had like an actual project left in it oh this this I bought at some point as lining I might link again the project I bought this for um I made this because I made a cloak and this was the lining of the cloak so I'm going to keep this anyways as like a good lining material it's really feels very plasticky to be honest it doesn't feel good um but it was like a lining fabric uh what else and that's it really and then I have like interfacing and things like that but that's all fine so yeah these these are all my fabrics as I, as I keep saying, I don't like having stash stock. I only like having tools. Um, but yeah, these are still remaining and they weigh on my, in my brain to make something out of. And I've been sitting on it for a while. So I'm hoping that me getting this out and kind of talking through it might inspire something and get me to do some sewing. I'm thinking, I think this one, no, no. 
I actually don't really know. I don't really know what I would start with. I really like the, I want to make stuff with all of it, but I just don't know what. Like these orange silks and like these like really nice, I feel like they should just be fancy scarves. If anyone has any ideas. Th oh yeah, this, uh, maybe I'll start with this actually. Make something with this because I do feel like this could be a really nice summer dress on the top. So I think that'll be my first attempt. And that feels like the most normal fabric, like that's not either really delicate or stretchy. Um, and then I'd like to make something more out of this. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to go through today. Show a bit of my fabric sewing crafting. Um, and so in the process, I, in the pipeline, I said I was gonna make a basket one, basket scented one. Um, I'm also going to do a couple of highlights slash focus points on some other finished objects, like some random crafts that I've done. So watch out for that one. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a real smorgasbord or a real mixtape of crafts that I'm going to show. So yeah, see you next time.